Right, this is just a quick video in between other videos. I wanted to show you something that had come in the post today. Now, a while ago, I mentioned I wanted to get a vinyl record printed with my own music on, which wouldn't hit a copyright match if I used it in a video demonstration of a record player, for example. Well, I've been meaning to get that done for a while, but just the other week, a company got in touch with me and said they could produce vinyl records that you requested with your own music on, but also with a bit of a twist. And I was quite intrigued about getting hold of one of these. Uh, they offered me a free one and I turned them down. I'd rather order it myself just in case it turns out to be rubbish. And then, of course, I don't want to have to make a video about something that's terrible, but it does cost quite a bit. Um, I think it was £45 for the cheaper version and about £65 or something for the one with the frame. So it's not one that you're going to get a load of records produced in. However, the difference is that these ones you can put your own artwork on. So I looked through my pictures and I thought, what do I want to put on a record? And uh, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's it now. This is a seven inch record and you can get up to something like five and a half minutes I think on one of these or four tracks if you have very short tracks. I've only got one track on here. We'll have a listen to what it is in a moment. Now I picked the one with a frame and this is uh, quite a special frame I believe. It's uh, got some sort of magnetic holder in it so um, I'll, um, I'll flip the camera around, we'll have a look at it and see how it works and then we'll play it on the record player. The frame is made out of wood, although this one's been spray painted or something to make it look like metal with a silver finish, but it is wood. The backing to the disc can be either white or black. And on the side of the frame here, we've got a slot and this little part on the back slides up and down towards the slot. And the idea is that this is the eject mechanism in a way for the disc. The disc is held in the center with a magnet through the spindle hole. And then to slide it out of the case, you just slide that part from the side pushes the disc out and you just retrieve it from the slot on the edge. Now the disc only has a recording on the picture side. The reverse has nothing on it other than the magnet which is held in place with a foam insert which goes through that spindle hole. So when you want to play it on a record player you just push that out of the centre and of course look after that part as well because you'll need it later. The disc I've got is on white vinyl. Now I didn't choose that, perhaps it depends on what kind of picture you supply, but if I'd known it was going to be white vinyl I would have picked the black backing for the picture frame instead. Right, so it's time to play the record now, but whilst I'm getting that queued up, I should mention that the process for getting one of these made is to upload a picture and an audio file to their website, and about a week or so later, the disc comes back. However, the audio file you upload can't be copyrighted music. It's got to be something that nobody really cares about, which does limit it quite a bit. But anyway, have a listen to what I've put on my disc. <laughs> Of course, the restrictions as to what audio you can put on one of these discs aren't the fault of the people that make them, it's down to copyright rules. However, it would be nice if there was a massive online library of music that you could choose a track from to put on your record along with your own photo, and imagine somebody perhaps had just got married. They could put their wedding photo on here together with their favourite piece of music. But perhaps they'll have to resort to putting the best man's hilarious speech on there instead. Now, as far as my disc goes, it doesn't auto-return on this automatic turntable. It's got a locked loop at the end, so when it gets to the end of the track, it just carries on round and round until I lift it up myself. Now, I don't know whether that would be the case with all of these. Perhaps if you had more audio than I've got on here and it went more towards the centre of the disc, it would have a run-out groove. But anyway, once you've finished playing the record, put the magnet back in the centre spindle hole and return the disc into the frame. Or at least that's what I can do because I've paid extra for the frame. The frame itself works out somewhere around about £15. and It might even add a bit more to the postage cost as well. I'm not too sure. So I like the idea of having it in a frame, but if you don't, you can save a bit of money and just buy it in a slip case. Now, if you want to get hold of one of these, you just have to go to that web address there, vinylart.co, and there's a 10% off coupon with Techmoan 10. Now, that's just because I've been in communication with them. I've got to reiterate here, I paid for this myself, I'm not on any commission for these, and they're not paying me to do this video. This is just something that I thought you might be interested in. But that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>